Let's say we have a curve shown in blue, and we want to find the radius of a circle shown in orange that best approximates this curve at any given point. In this video, I'll derive the formula for this radius. Let's start by considering a circle with radius r. The equation of this circle is x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared is equal to r squared where x0 and y0 are the coordinates of the center, and r is the radius. Now let's do some calculus. What I'm going to do is differentiate this expression with respect to x. Bring the twos out the front, differentiate whatever is inside, and notice the derivative of r squared is equal to zero. Then simplify, and you'll get this. Now let's differentiate one more time. The derivative of x is 1, and applying the product rule, we get this. And we can simplify by multiplying the dy dx terms together. Okay, good start. From the equation of a circle, we have three equations to play with. From equation 3, I'm going to solve for y minus y naught by bringing everything to the right-hand side and dividing by d squared y dx squared. Now from equation 2, we can solve for x minus x naught by bringing the other terms to the right-hand side as well. But notice, this now has a y minus y naught term in it. Let's substitute that out to get this expression here. Great, we now have expressions for both y minus y naught and x minus x naught. Let's plug these expressions into the equation of the circle. Both expressions have a common 1 plus dy dx squared divided by d squared y dx squared term, so we can factor that out to get this expression here. Now let's solve for the radius r. Notice that the dy dx squared plus 1 term can be sucked into the numerator like this. Now, just square root to solve for the radius r. And there we go. We have an expression for the radius of a circle in terms of its derivatives. Okay, we found the expression for the radius of a circle, but what does this have to do with the blue curve? Well, at any point along the curve, it will have some derivative and some double derivative. And we will use those values to plug into our expression for the radius we just derived. And that guarantees that the circle will best approximate our curve since it shares the same slope and curvature at that point. Now, I should also clarify by saying that in some textbooks, the absolute value sign is added to the bottom, but that's just personal taste. It ensures that the radius value is always positive. And there we have it. We can approximate the curve at any point by a circle of radius r. We've done it.